Hey, this is Daryl Olson again from the Jackson Fishing Team, and uh, mentioned, you know, I was out bow fin fishing with this uh, shag worm, which is uh, designed by Jonathan Kelly, I believe is how you pronounce his last name. But uh, it's like my go-to bow fin fly, probably like his. I've always had good luck with it, and uh, so we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you how I tie it up, my my process, and then uh, the materials that we use for it. All right, we'll talk. We'll, we'll take a look at uh, Jonathan Kelly's shagworm. It's supposed to imitate a crawfish, is my guess. Um, I'm tying it in rust. Got a funny curly tail, things like that. So uh, we'll discuss more of the materials as we go along. It's a uh, pretty good fly. I caught at least four and maybe lost eight eight this weekend with it. But I had to tie up more because both in are bad on bad on any type of lure. I'm gonna use a in racks or whatever, uh, 90 degree jig streamer hood and a 2 aught. In there. I've caught uh, large caught catfish also with uh, with this fly. I think the biggest was like 30 some inches. And I think I even had one where it broke my uh, my 7 weight. Anyway, well, yeah, gee, we can get that on there better. The thread I'm going to use is some 210 in orange, but you can use any color you want. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get it started right behind that bend. And of course, since we're putting a uh, A dumbbell eye, and uh, I'm using a large orange, but you could probably use whatever color you want. And we'll go ahead and tie that on. Sure, it's level. I add a little super glue before we put any more thread wraps on there to help lock it in. These bullfin can fight pretty good, or at least they'll fight until you get them closer to the boat. Some of these yolk wraps like this, at least that's what I call it, it might have a different name. And then we'll helicopter around it to tighten those threads up. You could probably go with a heavier hook you know, heavier wire hook, but uh, my experience is that you probably really got to strip set that hook a lot harder. This hook is pretty sharp and thin, so it actually will get into the into the fish. Next we're going to use some rust rabbit strips and uh, you only need the, the I measure it so that uh, that the hide is um,
that the height is the length of the, the hook. And then kind of like create a V in the fur here just so I can just cut in the so now I'm going to take one piece and I'm going to put it upside down right back here at the bend of the hook and try to keep it on top of the hook and I'm just going to add a little super glue on top of there to kind of help keep that in there build it tough but I understand like the water will soak that leather there and it'll actually uh, expand next we're going to use is a, a spiked slow roller tail in red And you'll see like a big flat end there and then the curly tail. This flat end is what's going to go on top of that hook right there. And we're going to try to keep this on top. And I'm going to stretch this a little bit here now. And work it up. A bit cl close to the eyes. And then I'm going to fold it over and then go back up. And that will kind of lock that tail in. Maybe the super glue part will keep it there, but. And I'll pull up on this because then when I cut it, it'll get right up next to the next. We're going to use is our uh, other little bit here, and I'm going to add a little bit of super glue on top of that. I didn't mention, but we want to make sure that the tail flares, flares that way. You don't want to put the tail in like that. You'll want it so that the tail naturally flows back. And we're going to kind of like make it a sandwich, put the hair on top this time. And I'll say you probably don't need to make this fly look very pretty. So after all, it's probably going to get destroyed. by some big bowfin. In fact, uh, I went through four of these uh, this past weekend. Next we're going to do is we're going to fold these back and then we're going to do a little gluing. And we're going to put some glue right on top of this feather. This, uh, and 
and then we're going to take our tail, our rubber tail here, and we're going to kind of glue it there. Let's put the cheese on or meat. And then we're going to put a little bit more super glue and then we'll make this sandwich thing right here. Next we're going to do is we're going to create a, a dubbing loop for the body. And we'll take our dubbing tool and uh, I'm using some, on this fly here I'm using some Cart Dub Blaze Orange but I was using that was called uh, Rusty Nail but uh, ran out of that because it takes quite a bit so I kind of put those together and I'm just going to do is I'm going to take some off and uh, kind of line them up and then And we're going to fill up that dubbing loop. And I'll probably speed this part of the video up. This fly is pretty material intensive in my thoughts. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and spin this. some of these out. And we'll wrap this up. I'm trying to pull 
back some of these materials. We usually fish for our bowfin around here in little oxbow lakes. The water is a little tannic. This seems to be a good color for, for that. Tie it off. Some locking threads behind it. securing wraps and then I'm going to go ahead and pick it out again next I'm going to use uh, some uh, Crazy Legs, orange and orange-black flake, and uh, I'm going to use a whole, whole bunch of it. Want to make a nice skirt. I'm going to divide it in half, figure out where that's at. on the top so it's going to spread around there a little bit some tight wraps right there and I'm going to break this here so I can Position these down below. And I'm going to pull these back. To get them out of my way. And use a clip to hold them back for now. Next we're going to use some more of that dubbing. Maybe half that amount. And again I'm going to stack this. And then I'm just going to kind of put this on as a overwing, if you want to call it that. To cover up that rubber. And we'll do a little bit more here with uh, the rest of that dubbing. put 
like a beard on it. And then we'll kind of brush these back a little bit, pull them back. And then we're going to go ahead and tie it off, build up a little head here. And we'll do a whip finish. Put another one in there. We're going to go ahead and cut off these tag ends here. Just kind of pull them back. Then we'll take our dubbing brush again and we'll Kind of get out any loose dubbing material. We'll put a little UV on our threads there to help protect it a little bit better. You could probably use regular cement, but on my bigger flies that I know are going to get destroyed, I use some UV Shoot this. And of course, this with the bead chain on or the dumbbells, you know, it's gonna go hook up along with the the 90 degree angle on the jig hook. So that there is uh, Jonathan Pilly's shagworm. It's supposed to be like a crawfish. You can see, almost see that now that it's all done and uh, on there. So anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's August. Time to go out and look for them bowfin, maybe gar and things like that on your fly rod. They're all, they're all fun to catch, and uh, and this fly will definitely catch catch both in. I, I have, it's never disappointed me. Anyway, this is Daryl Olson. We're signing off. We'll see you on the water and maybe this weekend I'll see you on the water catching both in. All right. Bye.